This is the training. You just engage yourself in activities of Krishna consciousness. This is practical. Just like uh, chanting, the boy of ten years old, he is also engaged. <coughs> His mind is uh, concentrated on the vibration, Hare Krishna. His other senses, legs and hands, they are working, dancing. In this way, we have to practice our mind, our senses, always engaged in Krishna consciousness. That will make you perfect. And that is possible by everyone. You don't require to sit down at a place to artificially meditate upon something. As soon as you chant Hare Krishna, immediately your mind is diverted, immediately your you remember of Krishna, Inestakshana of Krishna, work of Krishna, everything. That requires practice. Since you are a uh, array of discernment, yeah. uh, would you think of yourself? Why not? I am individual. Although I am small, but I am individual. I have got all the powers of thinking, feeling, willing. We are doing that. We are individual. You have come here by your individual will. Nobody has forced you. If you like, you can go. Somebody comes here, somebody never comes, somebody comes daily. Why? Even you are small, you have got individuality. Even in this conditioned state, you are so free. <coughs> So much free. And when you are unconditioned, purely spirit, you do not know how much freedom you have got. It doesn't matter you are small, but you are spiritual spark. Don't you see that a small spiritual spark, which no physician, no medical science has is still discovered, where is the soul? But if the soul is there. That is a fact. As soon as the soul is gone from this body, it is useless. Then found out and find out what is that important part. That is not possible because it is so small <coughs> that you are with this material eyes or microscope or any scope you cannot find out. Therefore, they say there is no soul, but they cannot explain what is gone. Even that small particle of spiritual soul is so powerful. But as long as it is within this body, it keeps it fresh, nice, beautiful. And as soon as it is gone, immediately it becomes to decompose. Just see, just like a drug injection, a little one grain, it keeps fit. <coughs> it is something like that. It is so powerful. You do not know what is the power of that soul that you have to learn, then that is self-realization. This meditation process, sitting in a silent place, I mean to say, silent place, uh, is recommended uh, in the grossest stage of bodily concept of life. Uh, let one thing meditate. Uh, am I in this body? Uh, then make analysis. You will say, no, I am not this body, I am different from this body. Then further meditation, if I am not this body, then the bodily actions, how it is being done? Uh, it is being done for that presence of that small particle myself. <coughs> how the body is growing? Uh, because on, on account of presence, that's, that's just like this boy, this boy has got a small stature of body, now this boy will grow a uh, very uh, stout and strong body in his young 
eight as a days of twenty-four years. Now this body will go, another body will come. How it is being possible? On account of the presence of the small particle of the soul. But if that particle of the soul is taken away or gone away, this body no more will increase or change. These are the subject matter of meditation. But when you come to the point of understanding that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, then the next stage will be the what is the function of the soul. That function of soul is Krishna consciousness, working in Krishna consciousness. So in the present age one has to take directly to the function of the soul. Then other things will automatically uh, come. It is not possible at the present moment that you can go to a secluded place and peacefully sit there and meditate upon. It is not possible in this thing. It is impossible. If you try artificially, it will be failure. <coughs> Therefore, you have to take this process. Harinam, 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 eva kivalam, kalo nasti, eva nasti, eva nasti, eva gatidamnatha. In this age of Kali, there is no other alternative for self-realization than this chanting Hare Krishna. That is the practical, real fact. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Yeah.